We're going to do experiments using our rotating table. It's about a meter in diameter. And I'm going to roll balls down that little ramp. And when the table's not rotating, the ball will travel straight across. When the table rotates, the camera, which is affixed in the rotating frame, will see the Coriolis deflection of the ball. It deflects off to the right when I move the table in a right-handed sense. Now by hand I'm going to move it to the left and you'll see it's going to deflect the other way. Now we're going to use the motor on the table to rotate it at a constant rate. And what you'll see is the faster the table rotates, the more Coriolis deflection the ball feels. So at 4 RPM, you see the ball deflects a little bit. Now we'll increase the rotation rate to 8 RPM, and the ball will be deflected more. And it does. It's deflected about twice as much. Lastly, at 12 RPM, the ball's deflected even further to the right of its intended path. In a right-handed system that's rotating counterclockwise, the deflection of the particle is off to its right. Furthermore, we see that the strength of deflection increases with the rapidity of the rotation of the system. The experiment here has blue denser fluid at the north pole on the right and yellow less dense fluid on the left at the analogy to the equator. You could see the blue denser fluid sinks to the bottom of the fluid layer and spreads out coating the bottom and thereby heads from north pole towards the equator. In contrast, the less dense fluid at the equator floats to the top, coats the top surface, and travels from equator to pole. And this is our analogy for a large-scale overturning atmospheric circulation. You can now see that we have the exact same setup as before but the whole setup is now placed on our rotating table. We pull up the containers and release the die, and in side view we see roughly the same overturning circulation. But in top view we see a significant difference. Now the flows are deflected to the right of their intended path, so they're each hugging one side wall, as we predicted based on the effects of the Coriolis accelerations. You can see we release the die. The blue and yellow each spread out from the corner they're initially in, and they coat each of their respective surfaces. You can see the blue die reflects off the sidewalls. So there we pulled up the containers. The blue and yellow dye tries to spread out, but instead it's massively deflected off to the right of its intended path. We hope you have enjoyed this video and for more videos go to freakphysics.com.